Woo! Hey y'all, it has been a long minute since I showed my face on here, since I made an update on my life. Uh, this gorgeous view that you see behind me is where I currently live. This is San Antonio, San Martin, Perrapoto in Peru. And this is where I moved in first. This is an Echo Lodge. And then I ended up moving right across the street into this compound. I live in a casita over there. We're about to get there. I moved here from the Sacred Valley uh, about six months ago. First I did some dieta work and then I moved into this little area, this tiny, tiny, tiny little village. You can't see from here, but it's got two little plazas, one up there, one down here, and it's in the jungle. Um, so when I first moved here, I was so done with just people in general and I really wanted isolation. I wanted to just be by myself because everything was so overwhelming in the world and I hit a really low level of depression. I'll go sit over here instead. That's home. This is home for now. So I hit a really low level of depression. Um, I was trying to heal an eating disorder. I was healing multiple eating disorders actually because I consider body dysmorphia, binge eating, inconsistent eating, or un like unintentional eating. You know, when you're not even hungry, you're just shoving food down your mouth. I consider all these eating disorders. And so I was battling all of those things um, on top of that bulimia. And I can successfully say that I have been, um, I haven't purged in 144 days. Um, the jungle really saved me for sure. And while I was going through this healing process, I was really isolating myself because I gained a lot of weight. I was really conscious about my weight, about my the way that I look, and I was trying to figure out what I can do for my digestive system because I was bloated all the time. It didn't matter what I ate. And then I realized that I was consuming a lot of content. I was consuming so many videos um, on, on TikTok, many reels on, is that what they're called? Yeah, reels, right? On Instagram. And my brain literally just was fried. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't put two sentences together. It was terrifying. Um, and so that's a long story for another time. I'll get into all of this process later. I'm sweating, got a sweat stash. So this video is more, I just wanted to make an update on where I'm living and show my place. Why not? So this is my front door and turn here. This is just kind of like a little gathering space. There's a space upstairs as well. Kind of a mess. Um, there's four little casitas here. There's a pool and the landlords live in this nice house here. The plan was actually to rent their house at one point, but it made more sense to move into a little casita instead. These are cute. So this is where I sit and I chill most of the days. This is my little door. Um, I'll show you around the corner. This is where I do laundry, right there in that bucket. That's not currently my laundry, but that is. <laughs> this is the backyard. Oh, you can hear the birds singing every day. It rained today so hard. So here we are. And this is my casita. Uh, there's a TV that I never use. I asked them to put this desk in here for me, which is nice. That's a fan that I need to get rid of, as well as some boxes. Um, but the landlords were nice enough to give me this wooden desk and a chair. The wardrobe is nice and big. 
Um, I'm currently washing my blanket. There's a blanket that hangs here that covers that up. And I got my altar with my instruments and my soups. Yeah. R.I.P. baby. It's my little altar with my essential oils, earrings, even a bell that I use every now and then. Got cards, some bugs that I found that preserved in really good condition. Um, and this is a bead, it's so pretty. Um, yeah, that's my altar, not much to it. And my kitchen, got some dirty dishes in there. Um, this is as big as it gets. And let's see, what do I have in my fridge? Oh boy. Yeah, so I got a big bag of fat down there. Got ayahuasca in there and in here. Um, some lime. Got supplements for Menagic. And I got some teas. This is rosemary water, actually, that I put in my hair. There's some sauerkraut in there that I can't eat right now, nor do I want to because I've just been eating meat. That's meat for tomorrow. I'm on a meat and salt diet now. Uh, that's all I've been eating for the last nine days is just strictly red meat and salt. I have tea every now and then um, and it's been doing wonders to my body. So like I said, I'll cover this in another video, how I transitioned from not knowing what my body can handle to transitioning into a strict lion diet. And yeah, I'm also studying the jinkies, which I got all the books here. I got my profile here. And this is my bedroom, my bed, nice and comfortable mattress. I still have this tapestry that I bought years ago from um, Grottoes, Virginia, actually. Yeah, when I went to visit my family and friends back in 2020. And then this is my humble bathroom with a very simple sink, toilet, shower, and that's it. Yup. Actually, there is one more thing that I want to show. I have these sticky notes that I wrote all over my place um, when I was really needing reminders. I have some here in the bathroom as well. I am strong. I trust the process. I had to put these all over my place because I really needed the reminders uh, when I was healing. The mind was going really crazy with all of these different things. And yes, I have to remind myself that I am sexy and to take a deep breath and to relax, for sure. As well as um, some sentimental things, I guess. This was a note that was written by a friend that was staying here. And yeah, this is a card for my birthday from years ago that means a lot to me. <laughs> And yeah, I guess this is it. So I did a ceremony the other day. Um, when was it? Thursday night. And I just had a mad realization that there's not enough real people in the world. And I think that it's important to connect with one another you know we have all this social media and yet we are the most disconnected we've ever been so i saw in my ceremony that i really should utilize my youtube channel to be a voice to reach out to people and to say hey i'm here i'm real and i understand the problems that are occurring on this planet what is really happening you know it's like this silent silent depression where people are so depressed so disconnected and yet no one really talks about it um and i definitely want to bring awareness to this a lot more because i think what's really happening is that social media is a huge part of it it has disconnected humanity from our own humanness humanity our own self and because we're so disconnected with ourselves, we disconnect from others because we're afraid to have a connection with others because we don't even have a connection with ourselves. We don't know who we are. And um, 
so I wanted to start making videos again on my YouTube channel just talking about these things and also sharing my life because I always enjoy looking back at my old content and seeing how far I've come, seeing how far I've grown and it's been a long journey for sure. Um, so this video, I'll make it short and this is just for showing around where I'm at currently. Um, and in the next videos, I will be talking more about my journey, how it all came to be and my healing journey, really, I've suffered with a lot of physical pain and physical illnesses. Ever since I was a child, I had di really uh, like serious digestive issues that I am now healing. It's insane, you know, like all of this time went by um, and I'm only now able to understand what's happening in my body and really focus my time and energy and attention on finding the root cause of it, which I did. Like I said, that's for another video though. I will cover that in its own video. Um, this one, however, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to show around, see, to show people how I live. It's very simple, um, very minimalistic. I own very little, very little things, very little things. Yeah. That's, you get it um and it's been very liberating to live like this you know and so whenever i have something that i don't use i i love to give it away because hoarding is also such a low vibration of this matrix that i don't want to participate in that and that's another thing that i, I do want to discuss is is not participating in the matrix, not participating in the systems that we clearly don't agree with, you know? Um, we all know that money is fake, yet we continue to give it power by stressing over not having enough, right? And that I saw in my ceremony a couple nights ago is that I really saw that that's the wrong approach. If we all want to live in utopia where money doesn't exist, but the energetic exchange is more gratitude and it's just gifting things to one another because I have an abundance of mangoes that are growing in my, in my backyard and I obviously can't eat them all, so I gift them away, right, to the people around me. This is why community is so important and um, that will be for another video too, for sure. Um, just how I see utopia and how, how it is possible, how it absolutely is possible to live in a world where money is not ruling us, right? And like we, we have been convinced that it's an energetic exchange, yet when you really look at money, right, what is it? It's paper. What use is paper? You can write on it or you can burn it. Um, those are the only things you can really do with paper, right? Okay, maybe you can fold it, make an airplane out of it, play with it for a little bit, but it doesn't serve any other purpose other than writing on it or burning it. And we need to really understand this concept. We need to be really aware of what money is, is that it's really nothing but paper and we are the ones giving it the power of value. And I saw in my ceremony that we create our own reality, right? We've all heard, that, heard of this, but I saw it in a way where it's like, everything is just a concept. Nothing is actually real, nothing. And other than God, God is the only thing that is real, that is constant, it is never changing. And our reality is constantly changing, right? At first we thought this was true, then we f find out that it's not, and then we find out some other truth, and then we find out that there's more to that truth, and then we all are looking for this one singular truth of this earth or of this realm, and there is no such thing. God did not come here and separate himself into eight billion people to experience the same perspective and the same point of view. So we are all experiencing a different reality. Therefore, there's an infinite amount of truth because it's what you are, what you believe you create, that becomes your truth. So you can recreate that at any moment and then your truth changes. 
So there is no one truth. And therefore, um, we got to stop telling one another, you know, you should do this, you should do that, you should believe in this, you should believe in that. Um, it's really up to us to find out what rings true for our alignment of mind, body, and soul. So I will be talking more about these things in my other videos. Um, I really hope to start producing more content on YouTube. I deleted my social media apps. Um, I don't log into them anymore. And I'll cover that in another video as well as why I, I choose not to participate in social media anymore. And I will just be hopefully posting more videos on here. That's the plan, that's the goal. Um, I know I've always had that goal for a really long time where I'm like, I, I need to create more content, I need to create more content, or I have to create more content. And now it's, I really want to, you know, and I really wanna talk about just these things. I'm not here to sell you on anything. Um, I'm not here to promote any product or program, even though I've, I've done the whole affiliate marketing thing. I realized that I need to transition out of that and really just be more of a voice for people who are afraid, especially right now. There's so much fear going on in the world and and it's not even real. This fear is not even real. It's We create our own fear, you know, and the Christians or those people who believe in a biblical God, they like to blame the devil for all of this fear or all of this evil, but really we create our own devil. We, we are the creators of our own evil. It's, it's really that simple. We just shift and we can shift into pure love and harmony and joy and peace and mainly joy. Joy is so good. It's so good to laugh and to play and to just get to be creative with that joy. So anyways, that's it for now. Um, I will, yeah, I'll hopefully post another video soon. Peace out, guys. This is the view from my window. And that's my landlord cleaning the pool. <laughs> Sitting here working and just wanted to show this amazing sunset. Oh, it's so peaceful here.